Thanks for coming. Thank you for you having know, me. I read your book over the vacation, and I was interested in having you on the show. And well, for those who don't know, explain mm -hmm. what Reddit is, because I think there are people who don't know. Those are the, the productive people. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So Reddit is the front page of the internet. Uh, it's the social network where there are tens of thousands of communities around whatever passions or interests you might have where people converse about the things that are most important to them. And the thing about it is they're able to be very, very, very specific. Like, it's very. not just if you like sports, you could whittle it, not just if you like football, not just if you like, you know, you could whittle it down to, like, uh, the, uh, the bird teams. Right. Uh, teams with birds. Teams with bird mascots. Is that really one? And then they fight against the cat teams. <laughs> yeah, this is NFL. I don't know if it's expanded other leagues. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's this thing, this sense of community that I think people are surprised by when they realize, oh, I'm not the only one who roots for all the bird mascot teams. Yes, uh, previously, the internet brings us together. we only had this with sexual fetishes, where people would <laughs> kind of come together and, and figure out what horrible thing they liked. The but World Wide Web. What do, you, like, what do you check? Are there subreddits, as they're called, yeah. that you go to regularly? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've subscribed to geez, probably hundreds. I mean, they, they run the gamut. Um, I'm going to be a dad soon, and so I love r slash children falling over. Uh, which is full of videos that parents take of their kids falling over, as you can imagine. Right. Um, uh, presumably the kids are all okay afterwards. Uh, <laughs> but it's helped teach me just how resilient the little ones are. Uh -huh. um, there's animals being jerks, uh, videos of animals who, you know, are cute when they act like people, uh, less so when they're being jerks to one another. Um, it's interspecies sometimes, too. Um, there's also animals being bros when they're being nice to each other, so it goes, <laughs> it goes both ways. But, you Let know, me open Reddit up while you're are, telling us about this. Um, like I said, tens of thousands of communities. And what's wild is when they come together there on Reddit, the only thing they're identified by is this alter ego they've created. So it's bringing together people from literally all over the world who may not think they have anything in common, but in fact have a lot more in common than they thought. Uh, this is uh, the front page of Reddit right now. It starts with Canadians are notorious for being kind. That's, yeah. that's number one. Have Redesign fun, dude. is coming. Marijuana moms. This dog looks like William H. Macy. Let's well, I'm going to have to click on that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we will, I guess, we'll determine whether the dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Would you upvote that? Yeah. That's a... Someone get that dog an agent. <laughs> what's, wow. What's amazing about this is, right, you have these users. This is Griff42. Um, uh -huh. who, who might have a really important day job. They might just be a board college student. They might be a head of state. You don't Let's know. See. Nope, definitely not. And... Um, <laughs> definitely not a head of state. <laughs> well, and... we could go way, go way down a rabbit hole here. <laughs> yeah, what's... there's some filthy stuff on here. What's, yeah. in... what's impressive, though, is the fact that, you know, people are spending this time and, and, you know, by the wisdom of the crowd, I mean, it's 300 million people every month are on wow. Reddit. And some of you all, hopefully, in the audience. Um, thank you, by the way. Thank you for all the upvotes. And, and, and they're creating this through the wisdom of the crowd, this, this amazing content through really good conversation. Uh, and, you know, the best stuff gets voted up. Uh, the next day, it shows up on blogs. You know, it's a, days it's after an amazing that, story how else. you got it all started, and you, yeah. you drew out the logo yourself. And yes. then you started just seeing people posting on it. Do you have, like, an all-time favorite post? Whew, um, there's a lot. Um, one of my favorites was on a, a community called Ask Reddit, where people just ask open-ended questions, and one of our most popular ones. And the question was, have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? It's a pretty innocuous question. Um, and the top-voted comment was this amazing story from a person um, who talked about having actually not picked up a hitchhiker, but sort of being helped while stranded on the side of the road. Their car was, to was just totally wrecked. Um, they couldn't get anyone to pull over. And this family uh, pulled over uh, 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 this, this middle of the rain, you could just imagine, and then all of a sudden, out of the darkness, this pickup truck pulls up, and a full family piles out of it, um, and they're a bunch of uh, immigrants, a bunch of Mexican immigrants, and he can tell from the little bit of English they speak that um, they want to help, and, and they, they do so. They get his car fixed up, they offer him food, they give him a fresh tamale, uh, and, he's, and he's insisting, he's like, let me give you some money. He, again, they, they don't speak a ton of English, and he's just trying to hand them 20 bucks or something, because no one else would help him. And, uh, and the family got back in the car, they said, no, 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 no way. Um, but then on the way out, the, the driver, the husband, rolled down his window and he said, today you, tomorrow me. And, and this, this obviously resonated with him. He shares this story on Reddit. Half a million people see it by the end of the day. The New York Times excerpts it a day later. And here is this story of 
of just regular people being decent to one another that, you know, a half million people got to enjoy, not because that guy it happened to was famous or gets to be on a show, but because the internet said, this is good, more people need to hear it. And in the last 12 years since we've started it, the platform has given me so many more reasons to be hopeful about my fellow humans and less scared of my fellow humans and feel more connected to my fellow humans than any other social network. And I'm grateful for that. Wait till you see what they write about you on the show today. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below and good things will happen forever.